Thank you, Mr. Governor. Uh, thank you for your leadership here on advancing a framework to help keep our schools uh, safe as they prepare to open. Uh, good morning to the uh, State Board President, uh, Linda Darling-Hammond, to Dr. Gali, and to, and to Californians. Uh, we know that this is a tough time. And again, as always, I want to applaud uh, our students, their parents, and their educators for your resilience. Uh, there was nothing about education that was ever intended to be in the manner that we find ourselves. And this is definitely the toughest moment that most of us will experience in our lifetime. But we push forward and we can get forward together safely. Um, you know, I appreciate you, Mr. Governor, for our candid conversations about um, the importance of uh, COVID testing and creating a pathway uh, for our schools to safely open. There's no question that the vaccine, uh, when it's available, will be a game changer. Uh, you reference educators being at the front of the line. Um, that is so important. But until that happens, until the doses are available, uh, it seems to me that there's nothing more important than robust uh, COVID testing and contact tracing uh, to ensure that our students and families uh, uh, can be safe and our educators, uh, that this provides uh, testing for uh, uh, school staff and students is critical. Um, and wanna thank you for your leadership there and look forward to working with you and the legislature and the state board and other departments on how this might get implemented uh, going forward. Uh, I wanna echo and add our support for the $2 billion going forward uh, to pri prioritize COVID testing uh, this is the this is the key pathway uh, for helping our schools uh, to be open. We look forward to uh, working with school districts. They still have questions. Many of our districts uh, simply just don't have the funding um, to get access to COVID testing. Many of them have questions about how do I safely open? And we look forward to working with them, uh, the administration, the legislature, uh, the state board, the Department of Public Health and others to really provide schools with the how to um, to open. Uh, that will be greatly informed by our team at the Department of Public Health in Cal OSHA. And uh, we think these are important uh, guidelines that every school needs to understand um, so that we can do this safely as we move forward. We, we recognize that not every school will, will reopen uh, and that there will probably still be some distance learning, especially as this envisions a phasing in. And in that respect, we also intend to continue working with school districts to address distance learning. Again, our educators are leaning in and trying to provide all that they can, um, but we literally moved into distance learning overnight. And, and so there are unavoidable impacts um, that unquestionably have occurred. Um, and affected gaps, uh, learning gaps that have been exacerbated during the pandemic. Our office, the state board and others will continue to work with school districts on ways to, um, to, you know, to minimize those impacts and to offset those impacts by providing more professional development for our educators, by making sure that our students have access to computers, you know, something that we found out uh, early on that many of our schools don't have access to computers. And of course, we're looking forward to this year working with the governor and the legislature on a plan to uh, ensure that all of our students have high speed internet. There may be a million students still without it. And we know that we must address uh, the lack of infrastructure to have broadband all across our state, especially in rural communities that don't have any infrastructure. So uh, our office will continue to be available to help school districts. We've announced grants to support professional development to help teachers. We wanna work with our school districts when we receive additional federal funding that will allow them to improve on training. Uh, we know that many families, foster families and homeless families, English learners, uh, free and reduced lunch families have been impacted in different ways. And so we'll be continuing our work to strengthen family engagement strategies to make sure our kids are connected to their schools, that they have access to the resources that they need to be successful, that we address those students who haven't checked in, where attendance has been a challenge. Uh, we've literally been working with school districts, reaching out, making calls, looking for ways to connect those families to the needed resources. We will continue to do all of these things, um, and we are excited to work on this plan to, uh, to accelerate the availability of COVID testing and contract tracing in our schools. It's a pathway for moving forward and we uh, stay tuned and look forward to working closely with the governor, uh, the state board of education, the department of public health and the legislature, and of course our schools and how we move them forward.